Hello everyone, welcome to Double Click. I'm Jerry Liao. Well, today in this episode of Double Click, we're going to talk about the state, or the current state, or the future of photography. And joining us is, of course, my Double Click partner, Mr. Wowie Wong. Wowie, welcome Hello. to Double Click. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Okay. So, pag-uusapan natin ngayon, sir, yung photography no? or yung digital camera. Di ba? Yes. Kasi nga, marami nagsasabi. And I think statistics will show also that the sales of digital camera are actually going down primarily because of mobile phones. Yes. Kasi may camera na yung mobile phone. True. Di ba? So, being a what, uh, photo enthusiast, di ba? Ano, award-winning ano to? <laughs> uh, photographer ba tawag sa'yo? Or... Underwater photographer. Yeah. And you got a lot of international awards. Di ba? Dapat pagmamalaki ko yan. <laughs> okay. Ano yung stand mo dito, sir, sa nangyayaring ito sa, ano, sa industry? Well, you do have a point on declining sales among cameras. I mean, real cameras. Uh, but I would say na naka-attribute yun mostly to the casual photographers for point and shoot. And it's, the market has been shifting from uh, point and shoot or compact cameras now to smartphones because of its portability. That you already are bringing a gadget, primarily a smartphone that bears a camera. Then why, why the idea of having to bring, uh, yeah, bring two when you can just bring one? So, there's a lot of comfort and convenience. And another thing, a lot of advancements had gone through uh, the smartphone camera. Because when you think about uh, professionalism or quality of photos that you get, in, in a nutshell, the reason why SLRs or mirrorless cameras with big lenses shoot better, the bigger the glass, that's how we call it, huh? the bigger the glass, the more light comes in. Thus, the quality of picture that you get. However, if you have a very small camera, like the smartphone, yes, like a smartphone, you, it's only limited to get enough light in. So it works perfectly well when it's when you're under the influence of the infinite light of the sun. Pero pag madilim na, ginatay ng kakaibahan ng problema. So, so, hindi mo lang kita yung time na darating na yung camera ng smartphone will reach the level of the, ano, yung dilabangit mo kanina. Yes, I don't think so. Yeah. So, I would say that uh, continuously for compact cameras na who have small lenses would compete very much up against the smartphone, which is already incorporated with a phone phone. Kaya talagang makikita mong magdi-diminish na yung uh, sales talaga na. So, oh, is it fair to say that because most of the consumers are actually in the casual na sinasabi mo? Yes, a that's huge why, part. Uh, yeah. That's why medyo maingay na sinasabi, ah, mawawala na itong camera na ito. Dahil karamihan na, they use camera na, if you will notice, karamihan ng kumukuha ng camera na yun, it's not actually just to take the photo. Eh. That's not the prime, primary concern. It's actually taking the photo and be able to share it after. Exactly. No? Yun yung, I think, nabibigay ng uh, smartphone, although there are certain cameras that are Wi-Fi enabled. No? True. Pero iba pa rin yung smartphone kasi uh, pwede ko i-share na. Pwede, I can do some editing. Yeah. The enhancement. True. Diba? Doon mismo. Yeah. Diba? So yung convenience. True. So even if you think about either Android or iOS, yes. the development of apps for camera photography using the phone has, has its own industry already. So just like the time when we think about film photography where you really have to process the photo in a dark room. Mayon, light room. <laughs> so in this era where you post-process a raw shot, right? Now it's made easier because the processing is now on the phone itself since it has some processing capabilities today with a processor memory. So it's a lot easier versus that of a phone. I think in the naging difference. Eh. When you buy a point and shoot camera, once you click it, you're done. Wala kang filtering jan. But on a smartphone, meron ka pa, may post processing ka pa, which makes it a lot better for sharing the photos. Pa. Pero, pero sir, ito, ito isang tanong ko. What if, for example, uh, companies would uh, lower the price? No, no mga point and shoot. Do you think it can bounce back? I don't think so. Yeah, hindi pa rin. Unless they're able to do post-processing as we've mentioned. 
the fact that you can share it online pa. So yung that convenience, they would have to show off as well. So, Baka maging phone na yung digital camera. Exactly, magiging ganun. Tatalan siya sa kabila. Oh, oh. Pero ito pa yung isang observation ko. Is it also fair to say that uh, people who are contented using a smartphone and taking photos, yung in terms of yung quality naman nila yeah. in appreciating photos, no? Yes. Bumababa dahil lang sa smartphone? Well, not really. Yes. Since, um, nagkataon lang, it's for, the, for to most people, it's enough. So, sir, before we end this uh, program, gusto ko lang itanong sa'yo, uh, ano yung tingin nakikita mong future ng uh, photography? Well, um, from where we are today, for casual photographers, uh, with smartphones, it's, it has gone beyond. Especially with the development and integration of applications to help post-processing for these photos. The development of two cameras yun in a smartphone yeah, yeah. to showcase 3D imaging or depth or better focusing uh, is already there as well. So uh, it's going to grow more. However, when you think about yung for the pros or semi-pros, it's now a battle between mirrorless and DSLRs. Uh, but from the way it seems, may pros and cons pa rin sila, so they can live together as of today. Ang major point lang is, when you buy SLRs, you have a wide variety of lenses to choose from. Pag nag-mirrorless ka, kakaunti lang yung lenses, it's napakamahal pa. So that's where you strike that balance. Other than of course size and weight, yeah. Pero the one that I'm looking at that I think has not crossed the chasm, Yung when you look when you hear about your marketing concerns where may early adopters, tatawid ba to dun sa early majority pragmatic uh, pragmatists. So it's actually the 360 camera for VRs. And so that's what we're all looking for. If you go throughout the market today, ang mura actually hindi mura yung mura eh. Pero may anywhere from 15, uh, 7,000 to 25,000, yan yung mura. Mm. Tapos automatically yung jump is 200,000. Malayo. Yeah, malayo. Uh, pero maraming, uh, maganda nga siya kumuha, pero kaya siya mahal. Ang daming cameras to cover each part of the sphere. Uh, so that's what we're waiting for. Whether is it really going to be a de facto one day or how early? Some are trying to jump in already, but unsure whether the market is ready for it. So for those of you out there, if you went go through Facebook or uh, YouTube, yun yung pag may photo or video na pwede kang tumingala, tingin sa baba, it's taken by a 360 camera. Yeah, ikot, no? Ay, ikot, ikot na. So in other words, it's still exciting, an exciting world for the diba, photography. Yes. Right? So ito, it boils down really to, I think, purpose. Diba? As you said, if your intention is just to share the photo, then okay ka sa smartphone, di ba? Yeah. Pero kung ito ay professional na, kung nari, magazine, billboards, and everything, I don't think, you know, a smartphone can deliver, no? Na sa billboard eh, tingko yeah, yeah, yeah. ito. Tingko ito. <laughs> Kailangan ko pa rin ng mga professional na, of course, na mga camera, di ba? Yeah. So, kung maga sa'yo, everyone happy. Lahat na dyan, lahat. Ano yan, kompleto. Kompleto, di ba? Okay, thank you, Sir Wang, thank you. For, for joining us. And for more of uh, Double Click, visit our website, www.infochat.com.ph Thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless.